Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. It is time for Facebook Friday. Once again, here we are on Friday. It comes so fast. Let's see if I can get all of this fixed. Hopefully, you guys have had a good week. We have had a busy week. August is always one of the busiest months that we have here in our house. Let's see. I'm going to try to share this over, make sure I'm in the right place. Um, I'm excited about today's projects. Uh, we are going to do three projects with a Pretty Birds stamp set. Um, we do have one problem. I have lost a stamp. <laughs> um, yesterday, I recorded all the individual recordings for YouTube. And when I was cleaning up, um, there is a stamp missing. And I literally tore the place apart. I have no idea where it was. It's probably stuck to the bottom of something. Um, so today we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to to do something. I don't know. It's the the little that piece right there. So at any point today, if you guys see it stuck to something <laughs> while I'm working, tell me. Oh. And you know what, I just realized I took my trash out too. I probably shouldn't have taken the trash out yet. I did look in the trash, but it wasn't there, but I didn't completely empty it. Has that ever happened to you guys? Very frustrating. It's either a die or a stamp. Usually it's a die for me. Usually I, I lose my dies. All right, good, I see you guys are all on here. Um, I have several things to tell you. First, I have to show you a few cards that I got in the mail. Um, my downline, Deborah, sent this. I hate that you guys can see this thing hanging here. Let's see if I turn just a bit, then you can see my TV. Oh well. Deborah Harrison, she's my downline. She is a beautiful stamper. She sent me this um, project. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Okay, Matt, here you go. There you go. He is deaf now, uh, we think, our older dog, and it takes him a while to realize that there's a cookie waiting for him, and then he shows up late. Um, anyway, Deborah Harrison made me this beautiful card using this basket that I love. Thank you, Deborah. It's beautiful. Um, then I got this one. Um, I love the colors of this one. Joanne sent me this, and um, oh, it's just so cute. It has those little hearts that are from the new tag dies that are in the holiday catalog. Super cute. I love the colors. I think it must be polished pink and soft sea foam and then like smoky slate beautiful thank you joanne very pretty and then i got this one just today and the little note was so cute it said ho 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 and even the the envelope had merry or christmas wishes which i thought was so fun right here in the hottest part of the summer so well i probably messed it up but look and she said this is um um a blast from the past but you know what um i really I really don't think that I've ever made this, Luann. So it's our our gold and silver celebration paper. And it opens up like this. Three little envelopes. Right? Have you guys ever made this? Super cute. And in each little pocket, she's got a little card. So you could put gift cards in there. Write a little message. Um, but really pretty. So I'm going to put this in my I need to case pile. Uh, Luann, I love it. It had a belly band. I don't know if I showed you guys that. You just slide it on. Very cute. That came today. My mail lady was probably like, Merry Christmas. What's going on? Christmas cards already? <laughs> it's only 103 degrees outside. Thank you, ladies, for those beautiful cards. I always love getting special mail. All right. So let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What do I want to tell you first? I'm going to turn the camera around here in a second because I want to show you some things, but I'll show you. Um, I mentioned last week that I opened Club Create for like a day. <laughs> you guys filled it up, filled up the spots that I had. So Club Create is closed again. This is August's Club Create featuring the best butterflies. That PDF and video are available if you didn't get to subscribe. I am sorry. I wish that I could do more, but I just can't. Um, but... I just wanted to let you guys know it's closed. Um, next week, let's see, when is the 7th? Starting on Sunday, and I haven't recorded that video yet, so that PDF is gonna be late. For September, Club Create's gonna uh, feature the Ringed in Nature bundle. 
um, with that awesome celebration paper. Um, that PDF, usually I post that right on the 7th, but it'll be late. I haven't recorded the video yet. It, I haven't had a moment's peace and quiet here yet to do that. So that will be coming. The video and PDF will be coming. But if you're already in Club Create, just know that September is ringed in nature. And if you're already subscribed, you're good to go. You don't need to worry about it. Okay, let's um, flip around. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just flip the camera around. Um, so today started one of the last, um, one of the last, what am I trying to say? Tax free. Okay, why is this not going? Flip it. Uh oh, you guys, what's happening? My camera won't flip around. There we go. There we go. Oh, Christ is averted. averted. So today started the last, um, one of the last tax free weekend weekends. They're not all weekends, they're like week days. Who had the longest one? Florida, July 22nd to August 8th. Y'all are still going strong with your tax free. Um, so back to school tax free holiday information. If you live in a state that does tax free stuff, you already know probably that you do that. Please don't yell at me. I can't make your governor decide to do tax free <laughs> if your state doesn't do it. Um, if your state does do it, you can get some Stampin' Up! supplies tax free. Um, I made a little collage of pretty much all the things. It's markers. It's adhesive, grid paper, uh, the watercolor pencils. What am I missing? Paper snips. That's about it. So kind of like things that could be used as school supplies, right? Um, those are, for right now, let's see. So Tennessee, you're done. Aug uh, Florida, you're till August 8th. Arkansas, 6th and 7th. Oh no, yours is tomorrow. Yours starts tomorrow, August 6th and 7th, Arkansas. Today, 5th through 14th, Illinois, New Mexico, Ohio. Today through the 7th, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, and Missouri. And then August 13th. So I guess we do have two more. August 13th through 14th, Massachusetts. Okay, so um, today when I'm done, I will put a link to this PDF. Please check your state and go down and see what is included. Um, they all have different limits like, you know, this one has a $20 per item limit in Texas, I know it's a hundred dollar per item limit. Some include the markers, some don't include the markers. So make sure you look at your your state if your state is on the chart. Okay, I'll put a link um, on the description of the video when I'm done. If you haven't checked that out already, um, it, I put in a big order this morning for adhesive. I always stock up on my adhesive. Um, um, Nancy, what state is your state? They didn't put us on the list. What state is your state, Nancy? That's a, that's a list from Stampin' Up. So I'm guessing if you're not on this list, then Stampin' Up stuff doesn't qualify. Um, I would suggest if your state isn't on here, um, it's possible I, I missed it, but I'm looking at the list. Ohio is only 5th through 7th. Where did I have Ohio? 5th through 14th? Okay. Um, this may be the old list then. They did update this. This is the old one. But I, the link that I give you will um, link you to the updated one. That's a, can you imagine typing that up, that PD or that spreadsheet? That's pretty complicated. Um, Oklahoma, yeah, Nancy, I haven't heard anything about Oklahoma. You might want to call Stampin' Up and ask about that. It, I'm guessing if you're not on the list, let me double check. If you're not on the list, then it doesn't qualify. I'm not sure about that. I haven't heard anything about Oklahoma. I'm just passing on the information, you guys. I'm not the tax expert. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, we have a new all-star tutorial bundle this month. And this is not it. I thought I printed it out. Well, didn't I print it out? Huh. I guess I didn't. This was last month's A Wash and Beauty. This month's is the... He's the man. So this one is already gone. Actually, it's not gone. It's in my PDF store if you want it. Um, this month's is the He's the Man. Um, sweet. There's 12 tutorials. All videos, mine is a little double boozy holder. You can do little mini liquor bottles or you can do something more safe like beer jelly beans. I, I can't imagine what those taste like. I don't like beer, so that makes me almost gag thinking about it, but I know some people would love those. <laughs> but anyway, this is my project in the PDF this month. You get it for free when you spend over $50 with me online. You can buy it in my PDF store for $15. 
Um, my team, they always get them for free. So that's a perk of joining my team. Um, if you are a subscriber, if you subscribed during July, um, I email it to you on the 1st. If you didn't get it, just email me. Let me know. We Sometimes we have to work out some email issues with that in the beginning. Um, but that's that. And I'll have a link to that too when I update the video. Um, Paper Pumpkin, you guys, I have just a couple of these left from this month. This one is the little... Oh, I call it the message in a bottle. What's it, what's the official name? Sending Good Thoughts. It coordinates with the bottle punch. I haven't even opened it. I haven't even looked at it. So if you need one of these, let me know. I have a couple extra. Um, it comes with a stamp set and a Bermuda Bay spot. All right. Um, next month's is the Sunflower Kit. And I've had many of you reach out to me about that kit. Um... If you want that sunflower kit, make sure that you have subscribed by the 10th. Am I right, guys? The 10th? I think so. <laughs> I think it's the 10th. I always get confused on that date. Um, I'm reading your comments. Hot and humid in Michigan. Ugh. Humid is the worst. Um, okay. So... Celebration. You know, I realized last week after I was done with Facebook Friday that I did not mention celebration one single time. I'm not sure what, what was wrong with me. <laughs> we didn't use anything celebration last week. I guess that's why. Um, so celebration continues through the end of August. That is when you get something free with a $50 purchase or $100 purchase. And this is the catalog. And a couple of things are gone for good. Now, the paper was unavailable for a little while. We all had a panic. We thought it was gone. But it is now available again, the Rings of Love DSP. The note pool party and soft seafoam note cards are gone for good. Can't get those. Um... The tree lot dies are gone for good. I told you guys from the very beginning, I thought those would be the first things that sold out. So those are gone. They're not coming back, unfortunately. Everything in this catalog as well, supplies last. I know this paper was unavailable for a little while and now it's back again. So, but they told us um, in the leaders group this week that they anticipate several other things in this catalog selling out before the end of the celebration period. So if there's anything in here that you have to have, do it sooner rather than later because they, these things, you know, they aren't just telling us that, um, you know, to scare us. <laughs> things are truly selling out. But the cool thing is, is that they surprised us and have brought in 10 new celebration items. Um, these are things that are from the regular catalogs. And I have some of them. I don't have all of them, but I have some of them to show you. Um, Free, they're new. The new things free with a $50 purchase include the Timber 3, 3D embossing folder, the Gingham embossing folder, and then the Seashells embossing folder. And I have that, but for some reason, I can't find it. <coughs> I seem to say that a lot. <coughs> um, I seem to, I seem to lose things. <laughs> when you have a lot of stuff, it's easy to lose a lot of things. Um, <laughs> another option, which I think is a fabulous option is the brush metallic specialty paper. This is some of my favorite paper. Um, it has the, uh, copper and the two different, I guess one is like brass and one is gold 12 by 12. So you can get that free with a $50 purchase. They have the silver on there as well, the silver foil specialty pack. So those are really good. If um, if you have gotten your favorite things from Celebration and you're still ordering, you're like, what else do I get? Well, get these. This is always good to have on hand, that foil paper. Um, then there's another option, the craft gift boxes, and I don't have any of those. I don't know why I don't have any of those, but that's another option, and that's really good. If you like to do gifts and treats and stuff around Christmas, you can stock up on those. Then there are four things free with a $100 purchase, and my favorite thing on the whole page is the dots and spots die. Remember we used this when we did our elephant card? Um, this is one of my favorite dies, so you can get that free with a $100 purchase. Um, there are some other dies, the um, Flowers of Home. It goes with a Heart and Home stamp set, I believe is what it's called. Um, so that's from the annual catalog. The Daffodil dies also. That's a big set, free with a $100 purchase. 
also in the annual catalog. And then the other one is one that I don't have, the Aspen Tree Dies. They go with that little bird from the holiday catalog. So you've got a lot of new choices if you're shopping this month. Um, yeah, and so Trisha, yes, yeah, she said, make sure to use item codes in the flyer. If you're putting in an order on stampinup.com, it's gonna give you photos, so you don't need to use item number. Um, it'll say, you know, choose from your celebration items. Here are the options, um, which I love because then I don't have to look up item numbers. But uh, some really good choices, I think. I And my favorite would be the spots and dots die, or dots and spots, spots and dots, dots and spots. I love that die. Okay, so that runs through the end of the month. Um, the products, let's see, has different item numbers. I am assuming that these are while supplies last as well. I would assume that is true for that. Also this month, if you're gonna join, if you're gonna buy the starter kit, you get this beautiful planner kit. Um, the starter kit is $99. You pick out $125 in product of your choice. Um, Plus, you get all of this for free, this beautiful planner, which my mom is begging me to give her. Um, <laughs> the Making Plan stamp set, and then these three adorable little journals, um, which is a really nice little bonus to that $99. Um, if you're interested in the starter kit, there will be a link here on the video when I'm done. Um, and you can always reach out to me too if you have questions about it. Now I'm gonna show you something else, and somebody, somebody will know the answer to this. We have a sneak, I have a sneak peek for you. This is not coming out until September. Um, demonstrators got to pre-order this month and I'm so excited about these that I had to show you. Um, they're called Perfect Partners and they're die sets to go with current stamp sets that don't already have dies, which is very exciting. Um, this one I think is probably the, well, there's three that I'm the most excited about. This is one of them, the Apple Harvest stamp set. And now you're gonna have all these coordinating dies, plus, you know, all this extra stuff. I love when the die not only cuts out the image, but then you've got, you know, look, you've got a scallop border, you've got all this. So that is coming. The stamp set is available now. The dies will be available on September 1st. On September 1st, you can buy it as a bundle and save 10%. Trimming the tree. This one is in the annual catalog. This is the new Christmas set that was in the annual catalog. These are the dies that go with it. And I'll be doing Facebook Fridays on these. Apple Harvest, Trimming the Tree. I think I've got this one down. And then one other one. And then this one, oh my gosh. Look, you guys. Remember when we did Facebook Friday for this birthday piggy? Look, how cute are these dies? You've got a little wagon little banner, all these little accessories to go with your pig. So stinking cute. So if you haven't bought your pig, uh, your pig set yet, I'm sure that these dies will push you over the edge. If you have the pig set, you have to get the dies. Um, because remember how I made you fussy cut some of it? <laughs> now you don't have to. Yay, now you don't have to. So really cute. Really, really cute. Um, this one is exciting. I'm also, I love this stamp set, but I'm also intimidated by it. I'm gonna use it, I'm go we're gonna use it at some point. I just really love it. Um, Waterfall Canyon is similar to our mountain stamp set. And now we have these dies. Look how many dies are in this set. Um, they cut out the images, but then there's also some accessories. Look, a little bridge, um, some, you know, plants and flowers. That looks like, you know, like a, a rock or an iceberg or something, trees, grass. Um, so really cool, really, really cool. So there's that, and then this one, I know you guys are gonna be super excited about Yeti to party. He's the cutest thing in the catalog. Um, and he's got coordinating dies as well. There's one other one that I don't have called Fresh Cut Flowers. So that is coming out. It will have dies also, but these are all coming out September 1st. So I wanted to let you guys know about it. Now, here is my, I meant to check on this. Usually when you buy a starter kit, you can pick things that are pre-order, that demonstrators can order. Can anybody verify that for me right now if these are available right now as starter kit um, choices? I meant to check on that and I didn't do it. I feel like they are. I feel like that you could probably add these to your starter kit if you bought the starter kit right now. But I'm not 100% sure. 
So if someone can verify that for me, that would be awesome. So anyway, not available. We have a month, right? We have almost a whole month for that. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew because I didn't want you to claim that I didn't tell you it was coming. <laughs> um, they can. Okay, Stacy and Michelle um, verified for me that they can be added to your starter kit. So if you've been thinking about the starter kit, you can add on those dies or bundles to your starter kit. Yay! Awesome. Thanks, ladies. And I saw Lisa said, if only they had done the kayaks. I agree. 110% those kayaks need dies. Totally. Okay. We are down to the bottom of my pile. I've got prizes from last week. Sherry Wilson and Judy Kessler Frock. Can't even read my own handwriting. I think that's right. Um, thank you, ladies, for sharing the video. I chose you uh, to win a prize, caroling mice. I don't believe I have either of your mailing addresses. Mm, I don't think. Anyway, message me or email me your mailing address so I can send you the prize. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I really do appreciate it. This week, I've got two of these cuties all bundled up, and I will give them away during our next Facebook Pr Friday. All you have to do is share the video and um, you'll be put into the random drawing next time to win. Okie dokie. All right. Now, how about we talk about what we're doing today? If you guys have never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. Um, every week I pick a product, usually one product, and we do three projects with it. I show you three different ways to use it. And so this week is the Pretty Birds. This is a great die set. Stamina has really just stepped it up with the die sets. There's so many just accessory, you know, of course you cut out the images, but all these other little accessory dies are really what make these fun. Um, you can use them with other die sets as well. I mean, with other stamp sets as well. Um, it just, I don't know. I just thought that was a really, really good die set, but we're going to use that today. If you like the projects, I will send them to you for free. They look like this. Um, you have to put in an order. You can order anything you want. Minimum $35 by Monday at midnight, and you have to use the host code. Um, on Tuesday morning, I get up, I write down everybody's name who's put in an order, and then I cut and pack these and ship them on Wednesday. So basically, these free card kits have everything that you need to make the three things that we're gonna make today, except for stamp sets, dies, uh, the cord these dies, okay, and um, embossing folders. I don't do any embossing. Now there are some circles that I will cut for you. There are some rectangles that I'll cut for you, but you'll need embossing folders and these dies. And I am using a couple of other stamp sets today. If you don't have those stamp sets, you can always use whatever you have as a substitute. There's also a free PDF over at pinkfactory.com. It has all the measurements and the complete supply list. It has that host code for you um, and that um, the date and all that for you to remember. It also has all the things we just talked about here. Um, and it's free. You can save it, print it, do whatever you want. It's free. Okay? Okay, I think we are ready to start. Let me get, you know what, let me get a drink. Hold on just one second. I always get so thirsty. All right, well, let me pull out my tray. Now, if you missed the beginning, you guys, I have lost one of the stamps. I lost it right after I, oh, oh never mind. <laughs> I found it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I felt it when I picked that up. Okay, crisis averted. I found the missing stamp set. I knew it was stuck to something somewhere. It needs to be cleaned. It's not sticky. Yay! Huh. All right. That's very exciting. I tore this place apart yesterday looking for that stamp. I knew it was stuck to something. Okay. Our first card. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who loses stamps, so don't be laughing at me. I know you guys do it, too. All right, my first card. We're going to make this little um, tropical background for our birds. We're going to use a tropical hideaway background stamp. And then the greetings. This stamp set doesn't have any words. So you've got to pull words from other stamp sets. If you want words, you know, you don't, your cards don't have to have words. Um, but I'm going to use the go-to greetings, okay? So I think the first thing we're going to do is that background. 
because it is a little involved. So we want to get it done and let it dry. You're going to want your Stamparatus for several reasons today. The two and three step stamping. <laughs> Lisa says, at least it wasn't a penguin beak. That penguin beak stamp is like the size of a pencil tip. It is so tiny. If you lose that, you're out of luck. You're, you're never going to find it. <laughs> that is so tiny. Um, okay, so we're going to use a Stamparatus for, for the background stamp and for our two, two and three step stamping, which is what this stamp set is. This is the um, embossing, what do they call it? Accessory kit? No, no, well, let me look, hold on, let me look at my list. Did I not put it on here? Hold on, hold please. I wanna give you the right name. Okay, embossing additions toolkit, okay? It's these four things. Um, this is your embossing buddy. And it's like a little bag of, I don't know, baby powder or something. And if you rub it on your paper, it's gonna remove um, any static clean that's there. And that's gonna keep those little tiny granules of embossing powder, uh, they're only gonna stick to where you want them to stick. All right, so watercolor paper. And we're gonna put our magnets, let's see if I can get my magnets in the right place so that I can stamp that. You know, let's move that paper up just a bit and I think that will fit then. Let's see. Nope, still that magnet just too big. All right, well, we'll put it down here. Okay, so this is a background stamp. It's very hard to use, I think, the background stamps if you're using a giant block. Um, it's very big and cumbersome. And uh, you you don't always get, you know, you don't always get full coverage when you stamp a um, background stamp. So if you use your Stamparatus, you can, you know, have better control because, now this is clear Versa marking, so you're not gonna see it. Um, but if you were stamping this in a color, then when you lifted it up, if you couldn't, you know, if you see, oh, over there, I didn't stamp it right, you can lay it back down and do that, okay? Now, my stamp is stained with stays on, and it looks like it's transferred, but that's okay because we're just gonna emboss right over it. it I've tried to clean it off and it won't come off, but of course, when I'm making a video, it's gonna come off because that's how things go, right? All right, so now I've got white embossing powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over. I've got a little dimensional backing in there, but that's all right. All right, now I don't know if you guys can even see it. I mean, I can barely see it. So this tray right here collects all your powder. If you have the fan on like I do, <laughs> it's gonna go flying, but there you go, all right? So fully cover it with your white embossing powder. Then you can open this up and funnel it back into your container, all right? And it does stick a little bit to the um, tray. So you can just, you know, wipe out any, any extra granules that are there and any granules that flew on your desk can be wiped away too. Um, one thing I have found that if you take your embossing buddy and do this, less granules stick to this, kind of, you know, removes all of that before you do it. It's not really that big of a problem, but somebody had asked me about that. Okay, so now you've got this, you're gonna get your heat tool, and you're gonna heat it. Now I've already done it because it takes a couple of minutes because it's so big, okay? Can you guys see that at all? It's shiny. You'll know that it's done when it turns shiny. I gotta get my grid paper, hold on. And you really gotta, you know, turn it like, you know, like this to make sure it's all shiny. All right, so now we're gonna use ink refills. And I will be honest with you, where's my card? When I made it, I can't remember exactly which colors I used, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is what I used. 
soft succulent. Um, um, hello, soft sea foam. A little bit, just a little bit of parakeet party. I mean, we have to use parakeet party if we're if we're using parakeet, right? And then um, mint macaron. All right, now I am using a bowl of water because I need a lot of water. This is my um, water painter, and because I'm using so much water, I'm just gonna find find it easier to dip it in here, and I'm gonna you know, run it around in that ink. And then I'm just gonna start kind of coloring in one leaf at a time. Now, you can't see the leaves, you know, really well because it's stamped in white. So what you can do is you can get your, your um, stamp case and that will kind of help you. Now it doesn't have to be perfect either because these are gonna all blur and run together. But I wanted the leaves to kind of be different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do about four or five of each leaf in a different color. Four or five different leaves in different colors. Um, and you want a lot of water to spread that ink around. All right, and then we'll do, how about this one over here? Okay, All right now, this one, soft sea foam, is very light. So I found that I needed more of that refill on my block. You can also use your um, silicone craft sheet to do this, to put your little dab daubs of, of color. All right, and then just, you know, randomly, and they all are gonna start to blend together. But that's kind of the point, is we just want a big, beautiful, tropical background. Reminds me of Hawaii. All right, now this one. Oh, you know what, I wanted to do that one last. Let's save that parakeet party because I really don't want a lot of parakeet party. It's really bright. All right, so just kind of, you know, Brush it on. I'm trying to do each an individual leaf, but I'm not terribly worried about them blending together too much. Lots of water. You want lots of water so the colors bleed together. So next week, you guys, there's not gonna be a Facebook Friday next week because I am taking, we're moving my daughter back to school. She's moving into an apartment and we're gonna be up there for a couple of days. So I just realized that yesterday. So I am thinking what I'm gonna do is pre-record a Facebook Live. So it'll be, it won't be live. It'll be Facebook Friday pre-recorded, okay? And I already have projects ready for you using the lovely and lasting is that what it's called lovely lovely and linen sweet from the annual catalog okay so so next week i you know i know i just missed a week because of vacation but i've got to take some time to help her get moved into her apartment and uh that's next week all right so how does that look see how i just wanted a little bit of that parakeet party because it's pretty bright um, also, one thing I like to do is kind of fill in any of these gaps where the, you know, there's white. You don't really want any white, okay? All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my paper towel and just dab up anywhere that I see like puddles of water. All right, and then I'm gonna wipe that up before we have some kind of disaster. Okay, now set that aside to dry, okay? And we're gonna do, I'm gonna set this green water over here. We're gonna stamp our birds. Let's put this back into its case. This um, Tropical Hideaway stamp is really fun. I like it a lot. 
All right, I've got a piece of basic white and we're gonna cut out our little bird cage from one side. No, do not stick to the magnet, okay? That's gonna go there. But we're gonna also stamp our birds, which are right here. And we're gonna stamp them in memento black. Now, you've got the fill-in stamp that you can do. I'm covered in embossing, in embossing powder, okay? Each one has these fill-ins. This time, we are gonna color this um, these birds with Stampin' Blends because I wanted them to be multiple colors. All right. So we're gonna use Memento and we're gonna use some Stampin' Blends. Um, while I have my Stamparatus out, let's stamp the sentiment as well. Thinking of you, we'll do that down here. And we'll do that in uh, Mint Macaron. I am just loving my Stamparatus more and more lately. I'm just using it for everything. All right. Now, did I get my chamois? Hold on, let me get my chamois. Because that one is nice and juicy. We want to clean it off. There we go. I feel like you guys are quiet, but it's because it's not showing me any comments. I know, Carla, I can't believe she's moving back either. I feel like she just got here. <laughs> no, it's been two months, two and a half months. Crazy. Time goes by so fast. I don't know. She's excited, but she's also, you know, I don't think she's quite ready to leave the boyfriend. You know, there's always the boyfriend. I'm going to hit this with a heat tool just for a second to set that ink. You don't need to do that except with yellows. And I find the pale, I mean, the petal pink sometimes needs it as well. All right. So I'm going to start with light um, petal pink. Okay. And I'm just gonna do a couple of these. Now, if you search online parakeets, you're gonna find all kinds of parakeet colors. Um, there's really a lot of really pretty choices. But this one, since our background is green, I thought this peachy color would really pop off the page. Now I'm gonna take light Calypso Coral and add a little bit of color. These guys are just gonna have a little bit of little bit of color and then I'm going to blend that back in like that little cheeks little rosy cheeks all right and then these two are going to be more calypso coral all right does anybody have parakeets at home I know somebody posted a picture last week or no this morning who was it it was oh Lois, was it you who posted a picture of your beautiful birds? They're so beautiful. I've never had birds before. I'm at a little bit of dark here. Just a little bit. Maybe down here a little bit. My husband grew up with birds. They actually had like a an aviary kind of deal in their backyard. His mom was really into birds for a while. So he's really familiar with birds. Okay, drop the lid. Hold on. Okay. So there they are, very pretty. We're gonna take just a soft suede stamp and blend, go across like that. And I think I'm gonna take my pale papaya and just add a little bit of color to their beaks. Okay, I did get out of the line on one of them, but there they are, weren't they pretty? Okay. Now let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. The bird cage, if you're gonna adhere it flat, you want to definitely put adhesive sheets on the back, okay? Um, but we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. And by the way, here is my magnetic platform. I told you guys we put Gorilla Glue on it, and so far it's sticking pretty well. Now somebody sent me an email this week that said her husband is a welder and a welder. No, no, not a welder. 
he has a, a company where they do gutters and they do like they weld pieces together. And she said super glue with a little bit of baking soda mixed together. I hope I'm saying that right. She said that would be a really good solution if your magnetic platform has come apart to try that, that and clamp it for like 10 or 15 minutes. So I thought that was interesting. I'd never heard that. So if you have a now defunct, <laughs> defunct magnetic platform and you love it, but it's peeling apart, try that. Either Gorilla Glue or Super Glue with a tiny little bit of baking soda. Huh, right? I thought that was really interesting. Now I will tell you one thing I noticed is that it feels like, uh-oh, it feels like it's a little bit thicker, right? So it's a, probably because it has a little bit of that glue in there. So it's a little bit thicker to run through. It takes just a little bit, just a tiny bit more. I don't know. I mean, that is an unofficial recommendation that is not from Stamping Up, that is just from Erica. If you're like me and you did not want to give up your magnetic platform, give it a try. All right, so isn't that beautiful, that cage? Cutting it out of gold is really pretty as well. Okay, so let's move that. And I think we're ready to put this together. One thing I'm gonna to do to this is um, flick some ink some dark um, evening evergreen, just to give it a little more, I don't know, just a little more something, something. You guys know I love to flick my ink, okay? There. Now, trimmer, let's trim it down to four and five and a fourth. And we're gonna uh, put it just on a mint macaron our base. I don't use mint macaron very often. Do you guys? I know some people is like their favorite color. I just don't use it very often. It's, um, you know, I like brights and it's more of a subtle color, but I did use it several times this week with these cards and maybe it's growing on me a little bit. All right, now for our sentiment, I'm just gonna cut it out as a rectangle. I'm not gonna do anything super fancy. You know, let's do this first. Let's take off that so we have a straight edge. Mint macaron, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, I know you guys will, it was an in color first, right? Wasn't it an in color? And then it came back in a color refresh. I like when that happens. Sometimes our in colors are so beautiful, we don't wanna see them go. Okay, so here is our piece. This was watercolor paper. I can't remember if I told you that. I think I did. Um, you could also use shimmer white or shimmery white when you are um, watercoloring. Now look at this piece. This is some of our um, distressed, is that what it's called? Distressed gold? Yeah, distressed gold specialty paper. It's really pretty in the holiday catalog. So just a little strip of that. And put that down here. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this on the card. I need to trim that. Because I think I cut it four and a fourth, but we'll make it four. Here's our mint macaron. It wasn't in color, right? Yeah. It really is a pretty color. That's mint macaron. It's like a bluey green. Okay, now for our little bird cage, you're gonna wanna get your many dimensionals. Mine are hiding somewhere. Here they are. Many dimensionals. Two on the bottom. One on the top. There we go. And we'll put that right there. And then I'm gonna take these guys and I'm gonna do them flat and I'm gonna slide them in. And I want them kind of even with that bar there. Like, well, well let's get your take your pick tool. So we can move it around, there we go. And then just push that down like that. And then last but not least, 
we'll put on our sentiment. And I'm gonna put the dimensionals over on the right side so it'll be even with the bird cage, like that. And there you have it, thinking of you. You could put a piece of white in here and stamp one of the birds inside. That would be really pretty to carry on that design. Okay, there you go. Kind of a lot of steps for that card. Not terribly complicated, but you know, took us a few minutes to get it done. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are you guys on board with the birds? I know some people just really don't like birds and that's fine. That's totally fine. I totally get that. But I just really liked the stamp set. I don't think we've ever had a stamp set with birds before. Okay, next card, moving right along. Next card is the card <laughs> that had the missing stamp. But now we don't have the missing stamp, yay. All right, let me just put all this right here. We are using this time, I'm gonna show you this, the card. We're using Charming Sentiments again, one of my favorite sets. It's got all these matching dies, okay? And you know, if this sentiment isn't for you, that's okay. Change the sentiment. Happy birthday. Um, thank you. Whatever you want it to be. I just put hey there because I thought it was kind of cute because he's like looking at you, you know. Hey there. Um, and then this little palm is from, is this die right here from the palm dies? Palm tree dies? All right. Let's, let's do our bird first. Now again, you're gonna want you're gonna want your stamp apparatus for this for sure. Where did I put it? Right here. Um, this is three step stamping. We're gonna use three different stamps. I was afraid we weren't gonna be able to do it, but luckily, God answered my prayer. I was literally like, God, please help me find that stamp. <laughs> I know that's something trivial, but. I was worried about it because we have projects to make and I was like, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to color it in. I don't want to do that. But I do need to clean it because it feels like it's got some powder, um, some embossing powder on it. Okay. We're going to use this bird. There are several birds to choose from, but I like this bird because he's looking at you. Okay. So put him there, stamp him in memento. Okay, now, I hate, that is so ugly and I hate seeing it in the video, so I'm gonna move it out of the way. <laughs> now, you're gonna take, let's see, we're gonna do this part first, okay? So you're gonna take that little stamp right there. I'm gonna pull it down and get my head in the camera probably. And you're gonna get lined up perfectly. Now, if you think you can do this without the Stamparatus, go for it. I can tell you that I cannot. Okay. I cannot. And sometimes I even screw it up with the Stamparatus, but I'm much better at it with the Stamparatus. All right. So pale papaya. And we're going to do that right there. Oh, it's perfect. If I do say so myself. All right. Clean that off. This was the piece that was missing. I'm so glad he's home. We had an adventure on the back of the, <laughs> on the back of the mint macaron stamp set or uh, ink pad. Okay, now this one, again, line it up. You can line it up with his beak, his eye, and his tail. Now we're gonna do this one in um, the same color, but we want it to be lighter. So when you're doing in the same color, and uh, you need it to be lighter, you're gonna stamp off first. So we're gonna ink it up. Stamp it on grid paper or scrap paper or whatever, and then lay it down. And look, there, he's perfect. He is perfect. I am gonna get my pale papaya marker and color in his beak, okay? All right. Um, I'm seeing, I wasn't seeing y'all's comments. It was hiding them from me. <sighs> Oh, I, gosh, I'm way behind. I'm way behind. Somebody didn't like the birds. That's okay. I don't care. I don't mind. You know, I don't hate birds at all, but I don't really want one. 
Does that make sense? And at the at our zoo, they have a place where you can go in, you know, and feed them and they land on you. I'm not a fan of that either. <laughs> not a fan of that. But, you know, some people are. And that's okay. We are not going to judge bird lovers and bird haters today. Um, <laughs> soft succulent, okay? For the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that right there. And then we're going to move over and bring over our cut and emboss machine. Now, let me ask you guys this, okay? Those of you that have this charming sentiment bundle, I absolutely, absolutely love it. But I find that the, the die... It's a really tight fit. You have to get it perfectly on there. Like you have to really adjust it because the, you know, the cloud around the word isn't real big. So the die has to be pretty tight around the word. So do you guys, do you guys find that with this stamp set too? I mean, I'm glad that it's like that, but I just find that I sometimes don't get the die on there, right? And I have to do it over. So I'm going to, I'm going to put some post-it tape, even with my, Magnetic platform. I'm, I'm going to put some post-it post tape. <laughs> birds aren't my favorite, but you're making me like them with these cards. You know, you know, even if you don't like birds, you might have somebody who loves birds that you're going to send a card to. Like my mother-in-law would love these. Oh, I forgot his feet. She would love these. So, you know, it's good to have on hand. I don't know what color his feet should be. That doesn't look right. I did it the same color. Maybe I should have done it a different color. Bird people out there, what color should his feet have been? I don't think I need to tape this one down. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to make his little perch by doing... We did this last week. The two largest stylish shape circles. And let me tell you how much... <laughs> I don't like cutting those for make and take kits. If I'm cutting one for myself, it's fine. But when I have to cut a bunch of them... It's a lot of work because I, I mess them up a lot. Um, I had to do a hundred and something of them this week. And it I, I could not. <laughs> Towards the end, they were all, they were all like wonky. Like the die had moved over and one side was fatter than the other. Ugh. But I mean, it's not that hard. I don't know. But when you do a hundred of them, it's hard. Um, gray or brown for the feet, Karen? Feet or brown, says Julia. Okay. Um... Yeah, that I after I colored, I thought, mm, that's not right, but oh well. And then um, Polly says, yes, the dies are very close stamps in it. There's not much room to mess up. That's right. Um, but look, ooh, I got it right. I'll show you. Look, see? So get it on there. Really, like, make sure you get it in the right place, and then use some Post-it tape, and you'll get it. Sometimes I have to do it over, like with most things. <laughs> like with most things. Okay, no, while we're here. While we're here, we're going to emboss too. Um, I've cut out three stitched re rectangles. And let me, I did not tell you guys what the sizes were. You know, with the stitched rectangles, it's hard to tell which is which sometimes when you're looking at a card. These are three and three and five eighths. Why am I having such a trouble? Okay, three and five eighths, <laughs> one and five eighths. Okay, so if you're gonna make this card, those are the rectangles that you want. Um, fern embossing folder. You want the side with the Stampin' Up logo is a side that's gonna pop up. So put your dies or your shapes face up and it's soft sea foam. You only need, let's see, this is not a 3D. So you take away plate two and you use plate one and two. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. It is it is 3D. I take that back. Right? Okay, we're gonna experiment. Plate one and plate four, I believe. Yeah, that's right. If your embossing folder is one of the skinny ones, then you use the two clear plates. All right, so there we go. We've got ferns. We've got the ferns. And let's move this out of the way and bring over our card. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, please, we've got to come back. We've got to cut our um, our little chain. 
And I'm gonna use silver foil. I have this piece left over from yesterday. So we're gonna use this. I've already put adhesive sheets on the back. Why are my dies across the room? We're gonna do the chain and the bell, which is so cute. Now that bell, that would be cute for Christmas cards. Or, you know, I don't know, to go with a cow. Don't, didn't we used to have a cow stamp? You know, that's why I'm saying these dies, you can really use them for other things. Not just the one stamp set that it that it goes with. Did I? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm getting my work out today. I thought I had already cut these out. I did yesterday, and then I didn't today. I did, and I didn't. So... We're moving the oldest into her first apartment in college, at college, and it's an unfurnished apartment. And, you know, they come furnished and unfurnished. Well, she and her roommates picked one that was unfurnished, and we thought, okay, we'll be able to hit up all the garage sales, the, um, uh, what do you call them? Hello, you know, when somebody, what are they called? Not a yard sale, a... I'm losing my mind when you know, like somebody who dies and you sell other stuff. What is that called? Why can't I think of the name? Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. We thought we'd be able to hit all those up. Somebody's going to give me my words here in a second. I cannot think of the word. And we, we tried, but we didn't find everything that we needed. So tomorrow we're going to Ikea. Ugh. I have a love hate relationship with Ikea. I get, I turn into ADHD when I go in there. Um, I, I'm overwhelmed by it all, right? Do you guys feel like that? Estate sale, thank you. I, I don't know why that word was escaping me. Estate sale, I kept thinking event sale in my mind. Ugh. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm offsetting these a little bit. They're gonna hang off. I'm gonna snip them off, okay? Words are hard when you're on a video or you're on live. They're hard. Or they're hard just because your brain, you have too many tabs open <laughs> and you're a mom and you're doing 50 things, 15 things at once. All right, so snip these off. Okay. Now for this ring, remember last week what we did? We cut it out of foam adhesive sheet, right? You do the same thing and then you have that. Well, today we're just going to use the strips. There's two ways to do it, whichever you want. And I'm just going to use a strip. I like the other way because it's, I think it's just easier. But I didn't, I, I grabbed these instead. And really, you don't need to do the whole thing because we're not making a shaker card. So just, you know, half maybe, one on some on one side and some on the other. We found a table with chairs for her little kitchen early on and then funny story I think I've told you guys this we were having a big brush pickup here in the neighborhood and our neighbors put out a whole bedroom set and I was like uh hello I texted her what's wrong with it she said nothing my daughter just got a new thing and we didn't know what to do with it and then my husband said because this was like in May so we don't have room for that so we didn't take it it was free and now he's like why didn't we take it now we have to buy a bed and a mattress, I know, one of those regrets. It was, it was not, it was nice. It was a nice little, it was a, it was a twin. And she had, I guess her daughter had upgraded to a bigger size. What? that's what happens. Have any of you ordered furniture from Wayfair? We ordered her bed from Wayfair. And it came in a giant box. We haven't opened it. We'll see. We'll see. It was only, well, the one that I sent her was $232, which I thought was pretty good. She chose the pattern, the color that was much more expensive, of course. So she paid the difference. <laughs> All right, there's our silver chain and our silver bell. Let's get our bird. Actually, let's do, you know, I also, I'm not bringing that stinking thing over here again. We're just gonna go with it. I also cut out two little feathers from 
um, soft sea foam, but we didn't do it. I forgot. So we're just going to leave it off. Let's add these feathers, just a little bit of glue, not feathers, ferns, limbs, tree branches, <laughs> palm fronds, whatever you want to call them. I cut them in, um, mint macaron and soft succulent. Okay. And then we're going to get our little bird and we're going to put her right there. I'm going to I put a dimensional here and we're going to put her inside the circle like she's perching right there. Okay. And then we're going to take the words and glue them right under her. Hey there. Like that. Uh-oh. Don't stick to my fingers. There we go. Okay. Now, last but not least, we've got these beautiful iridescent pearls. These are much different than our regular pearls. They are iridescent. They're beautiful. We'll just add a few around here. And let's do one there. I'm not going in order. I'm just, I need to be more strategic with my pearls. There we go. And there you have it. That's not straight. Hey there. And there we go. What do you guys think? It is a pretty bird. It's a very pretty bird. All righty. Card number two. We're done. I've got one more for you. One more for you. Let me clean up my mess. And we'll get to it. I'm running way behind today. Too much talking. Too much talking. All right. Last but not least. And then I have a, a bonus card to show you guys. But I'm not going to show it to you yet. I'm going to keep it hidden. Last but not least, we are not going to stamp the birds. There is a die in this set that has the birds. So if you're more in more of a hurry, although we are embossing, so maybe this isn't a quick card. <laughs> but there's a die. Oh, my dies are all messed up. Let me straighten them up. There's a die in here of a bird. So you can keep it simple right here, this little tiny white bird. We're gonna stamp these bird cages and emboss them in metallic, although, oh yeah, here it is, gold and copper, okay? So let's get our basic white and, and our stamp which is the bird cage. Uh-oh, what's happening here? What is happening here? All right, you know what? This chain can get crooked, so lay it down and pick it up, okay? So it'll be straight. We need our Versamark again. Our Versamark, did I put it on the other tray? Where is it? It is, of course, in the farthest corner. It's farthest corner. All right, Versamark. Oh, but wait, you wanna do the embossing buddy first. That's gonna release all that static clean. <laughs> I'm glad you guys aren't in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, there's clean recordings over on YouTube where you don't have to hear about all my life's problems. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do copper. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now let's see if I can get it all in here. The other two pieces in this toolkit, this embossing toolkit, are a brush, a paintbrush to brush off any extra that you have. And then this thing, if you have like a small piece, you know, that you're embossing, It'll hold it so that you don't burn your fingertips off, which is nice. All right, now we're gonna do it in gold. I'm do, I stamped the first one and then did the embossing powder and then I stamped the second one because I was worried if I had the ink there, I might get, you know, I might get that onto that one, which I didn't wanna do. All right, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna save us some time and clean that up later. Hopefully I 
don't knock it onto the floor. All right, let's hit that. Actually, before we get out the, before we get out the, where did that stamp set go? Before we get out the heat tool, let's, we also need to emboss, here it is, our greeting. On the, to create our background, we're gonna use half inch Coastal Cabana cardstock strips, all right? And I like to use my Stamparatus here as well. Why have I made such a mess this week, you guys? Everything is everywhere. Everything is everywhere, and I'm not finding all the things that I need. Oh, good grief. Where is it, guys? Do you see it, the Stamparatus? <laughs> it's not that small. I'm just looking at it. Okay, well, whatever. It's who knows? Who knows? We'll just, okay, let's just freehand it. Let's go for it. I recommend using a Stamparatus for this, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be a rebel. The reason why you want to use a Stamparatus is because it barely fits. And that actually looks too skinny, that one. It barely fits on here. Let's see if I can get it. Da, 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 da. Who knows? We can't see. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. You leaving, Ellie? Yeah, love you. Bye, love you. All right, let's see. Come on. I got it. I did it. I did it without the Stamparatus. See? Now, we can use our little brush because I, do, I didn't use my embossing buddy. And we've got a few strays that we don't want. Oh, did you see that mess? Can you guys see? Good, you can't see. There's a little mess right here. <laughs> you know, some some Facebook Fridays are really good, man. I have, all, I have it all together. I don't lose anything. I don't make a mess. And then there are days like today where I make a mess. Let's see, can I get that off? Where I lose things. And that's today. I'm just, you know keeping it real. All right, so we've got that. Isn't that pretty? Ugh, gold. Gold embossing powder is my favorite. And then we're gonna have a gold cage and a copper cage. My cord is wrapped around something for like weeks now, back behind my desk, and I haven't fixed it, so I can't pull it up for any further. I don't know, it's stuck on something. The copper embossing powder behaves differently than the gold. It's like the granules are a little bit bigger, I think. Have any of you noticed that? It's not as fine as the gold. It works just fine, it just, I don't know, it just behaves a little bit differently. Okay. Your favorite stamp is the row of birds. Makes me think of the movie Bird on Wire. With oh yes, Candace, that is a that is true. That's my favorite one too. They're all snuggled. You guys need to go look back at my post from earlier today where I said I was going to be live. I believe it was Lois who posted a picture of all her birds in a row, and it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Okay, so now with this one, there's a hole at the top of this, and you want to try to get the chain in there where you can see it. That way you know your die is straight, okay? And then we're gonna run that through. Where's my vacuum? I need my desktop vacuum. It's probably down there with my cord that's all tangled up. Today, when I'm done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna get my little vacuum. Now, while we're here, also, we need to cut out that little bird. Okay, the little white bird. We're keeping it simple. No two-step stamping, no coloring. Just a simple white bird. All right. There. There we go. Now, let's do our little background. Coastal Cabana striped background. You're gonna need um, several half inch, 
several. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I did. We're just going to pretend like I didn't do it, and we're just going to keep going. You'll never know the difference. What I did is I had two pieces of white. One was going to go on here, and this one was for the stamping, and I used it wrong. But you know what? It's okay. We'll just put the stripes right onto our card front. Use your grid paper here, you guys. This is going to help you get those stripes perfect. All right, so... I'm gonna start at the bottom, and I made my stripes bigger than they needed to be so that I can trim them off and make them even, okay? And I'm gonna skip a quarter inch on my grid paper. What is happening? I'm gonna skip a quarter inch on my grid paper and put the next one, okay? So each time I'm using my grid paper right here, to make sure that these are lined up and that they are equally spaced. That has embossing powder on it, but I think it's okay. Okay, there's that one. I don't know why I'm so running so late today. I guess today's projects each were a little bit long. All right, there's that one. Now the next one is our embossed guy. Okay, so let's take that, the thank you, and I want it over towards the right, like that. Get it straight, there we go. And then we've got one more. Now this one may not fit all the way, so we may have to trim it off of the top as well. Actually, I think it will, because we didn't use that smaller piece, so that will work perfectly. I can get it straight. There we go. All right. I put a little bit of adhesive on the back to hold it down. You can use your adhesive remover right there to wipe that away. It just holds the card in place. Now take your scissors or your trimmer and snip, snip, snip all of these so that they are even with your card, the card front, okay? All right, now let's bring over our bird cages, a couple of dimensionals, and we're gonna use a glue dot as well. So dimensional, 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 and we'll put this guy up kind of high like that. And this one, we're gonna come down a little bit lower, like that. Now see how those are like sticking up? Well, that's way too narrow for a dimensional. So I'm just gonna take a glue dot and if I can find my glue dots, fold it over, make it a skinny glue dot that has a little bit of height to it. And I'm gonna stick it right behind there, like that. So it's it's not flat, and it's skinny enough to hold that in place, okay? All right, now I have cut out a bunch of little hydrangea flowers using the long hydrangea dye from Polished Pink. And I'm just gonna kind of curl the petals up a little bit with my fingers like that and then we'll get our glue and we'll put a little bit of glue there and there and there it's probably too much always is and then we'll just kind of layer these here using my take your pick tool put that one that was way too much glue i'm going to put two in the corner here Okay, okay, behave. And one right there. Oh, you know, I knew that flower was gonna do that. Or you can use a glue dot <laughs> so that you don't have to wrestle with your flowers. All right, now, where's our little bird? Let's get our little bird. And I believe we can use a mini dimensional here 
right here. I'm going to put him kind of standing on those flowers like that. He got out of the cage. I've lost, hold on, I've lost the feed. Okay. Yes, yes, the magnetic plate got discontinued because it had a, a, uh, a flaw. It was coming up, curling apart. Very disappointing. Now, these are really pretty. These are the Flowers Adhesive Back Trinkets. In the catalog, I think they're called Trinket Adhesive Back Flowers. Something, I don't think it's backwards. But they're so pretty. And I'm just going to add one there and one there. And that's it. Isn't that a pretty card? I think this, well, I don't know. I think this is my favorite, maybe. I don't know. I like them all this week. I really like them all. That one is a little simpler than the others. Now, see what I did? Here I used a five by a five and a fourth by four inch piece of cardstock for the strips. And I accidentally stamped on it. So we just added the stripes to the card base, which worked out, I think, better because they fit better. All right. What do you guys think? Have I convinced you that maybe the, maybe the birds should go on your next order? They're really pretty. Now I have a bonus card for you, okay? Um, let, let me put all the ones that we've made out. I have three of each because there's gonna be clean recordings of these on YouTube. Now, as a demonstrator, we get an email every week um, called Stampin' Success, is that what it's called? Um, and it has sometimes it has project ideas. And they had a card with the bird three different ways, simple, in the middle, and then like over the top. It used different colors and different DSP, but I cased the layout. I made it bright and I used those flowers from the Happiness Abounds DSP, is that what it's called? And look, I used that sentiment as well. And look, there is that beautiful distressed gold that I said would be pretty cut out as the cage. Isn't that pretty? I put a piece of white in there, I didn't stamp anything. But I colored him more like a, I don't know, parrot? Maybe he's a parakeet, I don't know. But anyway, there's another idea. That'll be on my blog on Monday for you. Now remember, if you would like me to send you a make and take kit for free, um, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight. Minimum order is $35, but if your order is $50, you're gonna get a celebration item, you're gonna get the this month's all-star tutorial bundle PDF as well. If your order is over $150, you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. Um, but to do that, you don't use the host code. Only if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I want you to get those free Stampin' Rewards. And then I will still send you the make and takes for free. Okay, now next week, Facebook Live will be a pre-recorded Facebook Live. I'll be out of town, but I will have something for you, okay? You guys, thanks for sticking with me for an hour and 20 minutes today. That was a long one. I didn't think it would be. I'm glad you guys liked them. I hope you'll give um, the birds a chance and put them on your next order. And don't forget that Tropical Escape background stamp. That was a really good one. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Stay cool out there, and I will see you live in two weeks, okay? All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.